multiplying by tens, hundreds, and thousands. At some point, you're going to get a question where you have to deal with bigger numbers than you've done before. Maybe in a problem like this. Jamie lives in a two-story house, which is twenty feet high. Her friend Brady lives in an apartment building that is ten times the height of Jamie's house. How high is Brady's building? To find the height of the apartment block, we're going to multiply the height of Jamie's house, which we know is twenty feet, by ten. There is no complicated math needed here. First, we deal with the non-zero parts, so two times one is two, and then we just tack on those zeros. Twenty times ten is two hundred. Easy, right? And it makes sense because we know that ten times ten is one hundred. This is simply twice that amount. Okay, what if you had fifty times twenty? Well, you'd say five times two is ten, and then you'd transfer the zeros, and the numbers can get bigger and bigger and still not cause you a problem using this method. All you have to do is to make sure that you have the same number of zeros in your answer as there were in the question. Let's say you had to solve four hundred times six hundred. You'd say four times six is twenty-four, and then you'd put in those zeros, all four of them, and you get two hundred and forty thousand. That was easy, wasn't it? Can we multiply thousands too this way? You got it. What about one hundred and twenty times four thousand? Well. Let's look at the non-zero numbers. We know that twelve times four is forty-eight, and tack on those zeros. It gives us four hundred and eighty thousand. Or what about six hundred times ten thousand? All right, six times one is six, and put in those zeros. We've got six of them. That's six million. What a big number! Bigger than maybe you have to deal with at school, but not bigger than you can deal with because you are a smart math thinker. Try out some problems like this and build your confidence. Even though the numbers are bigger, it's not too difficult for you. You don't have to use a calculator. You can do this for yourself with your own mathematical thinking. You got this.